right, do you see how wobbly this mount is? Yes, it sucks and I'm tired of wobbly phone mounts. Like literally I just touch my desk and it wobbles. Wobble, wobble, wobble. If I kick it, if I move it, whatever. I'm tired of that. So I wanted a sturdy phone mount. And last year I thought I found that, which was the Archon mount. And you guys have probably seen it around. The Archon mount retails, I think it's for like $100, $129, something around that A range. It's an expensive mount, but it's an amazing mount. But not everybody can afford an amazing mount at that price tag. So I've been spending a lot of time researching, looking at different ways to make mounts, find mounts, like look for an alternative that is the same quality and the sturdiness of the Archon mount without breaking the bank the way the Archon mount does. And I think I finally found it. This is the wobbly mount that I just did this video on, by the way. I used to, when I first started recording videos, I would use this and it did the job, but it was wobbly, so I wanted something better. Anyways, this is garbage. It's almost the same price as this amazing thing right here. Nowhere near that one, but let me tell you all about this. So this is the Archon mount. Many of you guys have probably seen it. The amazing part about it is that it clamps onto your desk. So it's not like the tripod phone mount that cover your desk. There's not like the hand-built PVC ones that will have the legs right here on the desk. They're not covering your surface. This Archon mount is sleek. It's out of the way. It doesn't take up much space and it is adjustable. One of my favorite things about this mount is you can literally just unclamp like loose, oh sorry, loosen right here and then you can move it up and down. So you can increase the height or lower it. It's really your choice. So it's very versatile in that. And then also you can loosen each one of these knobs here and adjust it to whichever length or direction you want it going in. And that is really amazing. And you can also take this off and you can put on the ball mount option, which allows you to clip on your camera onto the Archon mount instead of a phone. So you can do either or with the camera or a phone. The problem is, this is an expensive piece of equipment. And when you have your camera on it, you cannot fully extend this all the way out without it weighing down. When you switch this over to a heavier item, such as a camera like this, you can adjust all these knobs to extend it out. And personally for me, sometimes I want it to extend further out closer to me, but face in the direction. So if I'm doing someone else's nails, they can see it, or if I'm doing it on my dummy hand, they can see it over there because I want it looking down at that angle, not looking down at the angle towards me. When I'm doing my own nails, I like it looking at my angle. The problem is this doesn't, it can't do it because it's limited range of motion right here. I don't know if you guys can see that where the ball mount is, there's a limited range of motion. And when it extends fully, it's too heavy. So I have just adjusted all the knobs to this and trust me, I've tightened all of them, but look as my camera droops with the weight, it's going down, it's going down. And I don't like that because as much as I tighten it, it won't stop, it just keeps going because it's too heavy. And I've tried every single direction that I could to stop it from drooping down and staying in the direction I want it to look in, but I really just can't. So that is like the one major issue I have with the Archon mount because I do like to record on this camera versus my phone. And I'm gonna show you guys how this is so much better than this. So this is not a phone mount. It is not a camera mount. It is a monitor desk mount. Yes, so this can hold a monitor. So imagine a large screen, so it says 13 to 27 inches. That just tells you how large the screen is and it up to 22 pounds. That is not 22 pounds. So it's telling me that this is sturdy enough to hold a 22 pound item on this mount. The difference between this and the Archon mount is not much. So this item goes up to 16 inches tall and they sell one that goes up to 31 inches tall. So if you guys want the higher height, I'm gonna link that below and you guys can get the 31 inch one. But my Archon right here, it stops at 16 inches unless I bring this a lot higher, which I never do. 
So I thought, I'm gonna get the 16 inch one because that's as tall as it goes, this one. You know what, same height, that's really just how high I need it. And this one, it has a very, very thick, sturdy clamp, a lot thicker than the Archon one. So you can see right here, it clamps to any desk and it has a larger space that it can clamp to versus the Archon one only gives you a smaller space to clamp to. Anyways, what I love about this is when you adjust, you can take this on and off. You can lower it up and down. All you need is this little handy dandy wrench to loosen this right here, just like you would a knob, and then you lower it up and down. So with a 31 inch one, it would be awesome to uh, raise it higher or bring it lower. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm screwing the pole onto this plating. So there's three pieces to that. So I'm gonna screw it and I'll be back. Now to continue the building, you have to mount this into here so you bolt it. So I'm like, they got some pretty heavy duty accessories here. So you just put the bolt in here and you use this wrench and you just twist it and then you're gonna have your clampable base. And trust me, this is just like the bulk. This is the, the main part of having to build this. It gets easier from here. So now I have my clamp base and this is where you use this to clamp it to a table. Um, and this will help it stop it from being wobbly. The only time it'll be wobbly is if you accidentally hit this or the table and then it'll obviously wobble. So you just put the arm on, that's super easy. And then you tighten it. There's another op thing you have to buy in order to get this to work the way the Archon mount does in order to clip on your phone. And you're going to need this item from Amazon. It's about $15 and it comes with this ball attachment and it comes with the phone clamp so you can put your phone in here. If you wanna put your camera, you just take this off and you'll be able to twist your camera onto this. Anyways, all you have to do is remove the bottom because this is a newer product. So this goes onto the ring lights. You just twist this off and you screw it right onto here. Tighten it really good. And when you're ready, you can put your phone or your camera here. Normally I would put my phone as a demonstration for you guys, but I'm gonna put my camera this time. What I love about this is its ability to rotate. It can rotate 360 degrees. If this part is loosened, just, you just need the right wrench that comes in this package. And you're able to rotate this 360 degrees all the way around. You just have to make sure you're pushing on that. And then you can rotate it wherever you want and then tighten it. So we're gonna rotate it to about here and then tighten it. Yes. So it has a 90 degree bend right here. So it can bend at the spot where it rotates it has a 90 degree bend right here and it goes backwards and it also has a third 90 degree bend right here. So it is very similar to the Archon mount that has all the hooks and knobs that you can adjust, but this one doesn't bend downwards. So it makes it sturdier to hold a camera. Then another thing that makes this more superior to all just monitor desk mounts is the plate that you put the uh, monitor on comes off. Most desk monitor mounts do not have the option to take the plate off. This one does, so we get to use this to our advantage. Um, so I went ahead and I twisted on my camera because my, I'm recording on my phone so I can't show you this part on my phone. But with this ball mount, you can adjust your camera up and down. So assume you put it in the up position with this, because it has that range of motion, you can rotate it down and keep rotating. And then it goes down 90 degrees, but the ball mount allows you to rotate it even more. As long as you have it in the right position, you can rotate it all the way down if you need to. 
I only need it at an angle, but I need it at this angle. And then you can rotate it left. If you remove the ball point, you do it this way. You can rotate it right, upwards, facing you. Like all the options are there for you to have such a huge range of motion, which I was not able to get on the Archon mount, which is why I wanted to find a solution. And this goes to show that this is not making my camera seep down because it can't because the bend goes left or right, not up and down, unlike the Archon mount. So I think this is a much better option and I'm actually going to remove my Archon mount tonight and record on this and just keep testing it out and see how much I like it and how much better it is for me. So if you guys don't like the 16 inch length option, height option, you can get the 31 inch one and you can adjust this as tall as you want up to 31 inches and you can bend the arm wherever you want. So if I bent it this way and recorded downwards, all of the options are here at a much better price. So I can't believe I wasted money on that. <laughs> so I know that video was a lot. It was a lot to take in, but I really do hope that it was informative to show you the huge similarities between this monitor desk mount and the Archon phone and camera mount and where it is more superior to the Archon in my personal opinion and the price range just screams, you need this over the Archon mount. And I, I can't even begin to tell you guys how many of my nail friends are in the nail community recording YouTube videos and they ask what mount is great. And I've been recommending the Archon because it's the best I've found so far. But now I found a much cheaper option that is way better. Like this costs $26.99 for the mount itself and then $15 for the adapter with the, um, the ball mount. Like what anyways I'm excited and i hope that you guys really do love this video and i really do hope that this helps you guys a lot in creating much better content having something sturdy that's out of the way that's just not in your way and it's compact and it's portable like i've said this all a million times i want something that is portable that is compact that is out of my way and is adjustable like I need huge range of motion and adjustable. I need 360 degrees range of motion and I need it so adjustable that it can hold the weight of my camera. So I think I finally found one.